Today we're hunting some heads. The goal of the game is to get this monster into the trap. And I guess you do it by influencing him in a direction. However, if there's no wall for him to hit, <laughs> he just flies into the void. So I guess it's a game about getting in position, maybe sending him around kind of like this. And then up to this wall and then in. It does seem like a very slidey mobile puzzle game, but I've heard this game actually has a lot of interesting mechanics. Specimens exhibit toughened anterior tissue, apparently adapted in response to frequent collisions with rocky surfaces. They're dumb idiots, but we love them. And it seems like you don't have to be right next to it to force it. Like here, I would want to go this way, but I gotta actually make sure I double back around. That way I can actually send them into the trap. And it's got a bit of an overworld. This probably means it's like a tricky level. I don't know how hard it's supposed to be, but you gotta kind of work backwards at these kind of levels, right? So the only stop near the trap is above it, so I gotta force the monster from below, which probably means getting it stuck against this wall, which probably then means getting it stuck against this wall. I didn't want to send it up. So that means I need to be above the monster. Now I can't go this way, so I guess the only way is to actually snake around these to set them down. Huh. Alright. Nice, really forcing you to think about that first move. And I wonder if I can cross gaps of water. Because, again, the, the wall is to the right, so I guess I would force it from the left? Or actually, can this thing just float on water? It can. Oh, it's ice. I can't go on, out in the ice because it's dangerous or something. Oh, that changes a bit then. Okay. So it has areas it can go, but I can't go. So I imagine it would look like this, and I can really scare it from down here. <laughs> yeah, he's terrified. He doesn't know I can't come out on the ice. I know that, but that's just something I'll use to my advantage. Get in the trap. Delicious meat. Must get into the trap from the right, which probably means getting to this block here, which probably means getting into this block from the left. Or, actually, there's a different path where I come into this block from the right, which I think I know how I can do. Also, just figure out how to fast move in this game should be pretty helpful, I imagine. But from here, I can actually send it down, and that should... <laughs> Never mind. What was I thinking? Um, maybe this is just the first part, though, because it looks like I could follow it up by saying it up, and then over, and then down, and then... Yeah, I kind of forgot about the rock being necessary, huh? What is this block? Oh, the block itself is pushable. So if I were to choose anywhere for this block to go, I think here would be the most sensible. But not that sensible. I was thinking I could send it to the right, but how do I do that? Unless if I could push the block into the water. Yeah, and it sinks. Okay, interesting. So I don't get a new platform, although that feels like maybe there's a different block that can do that. I'm gonna reset even. Okay, how about this idea? I instead push the block up here just so I can actually retrieve this guy. Send him around like this. And then maybe... Just maybe I can set up a block here. Yeah, there we go. Strange square crystals are also found on some of the islands. They don't appear to be alive, however, so no one's really interested in them. I'm interested in them. This is all shiny and pink. Right from the get-go, I actually feel like I have to use this mechanic where I have the block in between me and the monster so I don't scare it anywhere. Because The only way I can really do anything with it is just by scaring it left. Now, I should have the freedom to send it down, and then over. Oh, that doesn't quite help me win yet. Because I was thinking, oh, what a nice setup, but how do I send him up? It doesn't work. Like, I gotta block this off first. And then if I send him up, what happens now? Oh, he scares me away, I can't walk into him. Interesting. Well, alternatively, I could just have the blocks be one higher. I wanted to see what that weird interaction would be like, but now I see, like, it's pretty clear you can just send them over and then up. Two blocks, and they can't be bridges. Here's what I'm thinking. I almost want to have this be, like, a simple goes down and then over, then down again. Don't know where, but if you think about this column, where exactly could I put the block to actually stop the monster? The only answer actually seems to be this row, unless if I'm to do it like way above or below the pond, but that doesn't seem to correlate well with the left side. So the only one that uh, both can be accessible by the monster and by me, I assume is that spot, which I can place in here. That would then mean pushing this cube up and then sending the monster down and then over. 
and then down again. Simple as that. But that's a lot of blocks. <laughs> Most of them seem to be trapping me in here, but that's not true. I can just push them in the water, so what gives? So I'm actually thinking about the end of the puzzle right now. Like, I'm thinking whenever I escape from here, which it'll be eventual. Um, I assume... Oh, I don't even like that happening. I don't like the monster going down. I feel like I need to get this box out of the way into the water. So what can I do to even get one box there? And I think that means pushing these boxes around and then this up. How dare you introduce Sokoban into... Well, I was going to say my non-generic puzzle game, but I mean, this is a relatively generic idea. But here's what I'm thinking about, right? This is the only way I can actually send the monster up. And then all I need to do is get this box out of the way, sending them down. I mean, the puzzle ga design is good. Generic or not, I'm here for good puzzle design. And what are these boxes? Hey, bridges! It's, it's a real thing. Can I push multiple of these? I cannot. So, uh, right from the get-go, trying to think about how I could actually make this work, but I don't think it's too bad, right? I can still make this as a bridge. And with three boxes, what you can do is just send two into water and then one around, so at least you can send it up. At least I get a bit more freedom in navigating my islands. I know, that's the only puzzle like that, but what are these? Oh, bushes. You can probably hide in them so he doesn't see you. And they also act as barriers, so they're barriers that you can also walk through. Interesting. So I can go, surprise! <laughs> Give him a little scare. And the bushes go down after use. Interesting. Do the bushes stop the monster is my next question. Well, I think actually I won't find out because I need to use them in order to be able to get to this side of the monster. And that actually lets me win the level. So we'll find it out later, but okay, lots of mechanics. Oh, I could go a different way. You know what? I'm going to go this way. I'm going to hide. It's open world, I guess. Highly skilled trackers often employ stealth. Those with even higher skills simply choose a more convenient capture location. The game telling me I have a skill issue? Well, I think I'm just going to begin in the only way I know how, which is sending the monster down. And honestly, it doesn't seem like there's actually much I can do besides sending him right. And here, again, the only realistic way to send him is up, which probably means going through the bushes first, huh? Avoiding detection. And again, all their ways just lead to the void, so I guess I'll go this way. But now, I'm pretty much forced to send him up when I pass through here. And this is kind of interesting, actually. Again, the only realistic way is to send him left. And this tall grass blocks it, so I almost got double back. It just to actually expend the grass. Now at least I can send him down. And into the trap. Interesting. Lots of tall grass. What do I choose to get rid of? Uh, well, here's a question. How do I win? The grass clearly must be able to stop this monster. Otherwise, this looks unwinnable. And I'm thinking, like, if I get in the same row of it without being in this grass, I feel like it's an instant loss. Just trying to figure out how I can actually deliberately send it into grass. Maybe that doesn't matter. Maybe I just gotta send it around right now. And actually, I could walk around it quite a bit. It stops in the grass. Interesting. So can I scare it out of the grass? Yeah, I can. Oh, really interesting. Well, now that changes a bit. I'm not sure how just yet. Oh, but I can only scare it directly next to it. That's really interesting. Okay, hold on. So that means I could probably scare it to the right and then down. And then over. I was thinking I could scare it up, but actually that's kind of losing. Scaring it down doesn't help either because that just expends the grass. Yeah, no, this is this is all bad. I could send it to the right, actually. That's not bad. I actually quite like that. Because this series of moves uses the last of the grass and traps it. Oh, all the elements came into play here. Wow, um, a lot of grass. What if I start by, like, passing through the middle? Yeah, passing grass. Maybe there? Well, I wanted to send him down, but there's an annoying block in the way preventing me from sending him further left. Actually, yeah, that's a bit more of a problem. I have to leave the grass in under the trap. There's no avoiding it. So here's a new thought. What if I destroy these grasses in like a candy cane formation? I think that leaves just enough grass to get a win. I had to think about that for a while. A smaller one, huh? So realistically, I'm only winning by sending it right, which means sending the monster upwards, but I can't do that until I've gotten rid of the grass. But actually, 
No, if I scare him here, then I can't unscare him easily unless I do this, but I don't know. It feels like a waste. Yeah, it seems pretty lost there. I wonder if I'm better off actually destroying the grass first, though. Can I do that? I don't know how I would. Yeah, I don't know how I would, but I can get rid of the grass now as I go by and then scare him down. What good does that do me? Maybe like grass is not good there. You could say the grass is ass. I mean, alternatively, I could just hide in the bushes as I go by. Yeah, because here I could run over the grass, actually. And that lets me loop fully around to get to the wall. And hold on. Before I send them up, I should actually take the opportunity to get rid of the grass now. Because uh, it's the only time I could have done it. Anytime earlier or later would have probably been bad, just thinking about it. And now I can send them into the goal. Wait, this level is really good. How do I want to beat this level? Well, the only way is to getting it into the goal from the right, which means using this grass and then sending it left. It also means having this grass gone. I then have to think about how I'm getting into this grass, and it's probably from one of these three spots. But how would I send it to the right? Probably from above and then over. So that would mean getting the monster to be like up against this wall, walking through the grass and then scaring it down. So how do I get the monster up against the wall? Step one, get rid of this grass. Just source, trust me. Because I think that means getting rid of all these other grasses so I can line up a nice clean shot down the line. Now, thanks to my studying ahead of time, I can actually solve the puzzle in the way I intended. Nice. Plan and execution. And I start in the grass. <laughs> Look at me hiding here. I got you. Well, this is weird. How do I win? Wait, how do I win at all? Right? Because it looked like I was locked into a bad starting spot. There is no row or column connection at all? What am I missing? Maybe it is because I have a bad starting spot. Do you think that matters somehow? Like, I entered this level from the bottom. Like, I'm just wondering, can I enter it from the left side somehow? When push comes to shove, it's not unheard of for impatient field biologists to give their unenthusiastic specimens a nudge in the right direction. The effects of human contact will be the subject of further studies. I've heard human contact's quite a good thing. Allegedly. Wait, can I, can I touch you in the grass? No, he's very antisocial. There's nothing stopping the monster at the trap, though? What am I not getting? Does something happen if he goes through, like, too many pieces of grass? Well, oh, it's the nudge mechanic. He doesn't see me because I'm in the grass. Here, he only goes over one. Hmm. Interesting. So, if the right three most pieces of grass are left in, could I send the monster up and then do what I just did now? Or, I, it, it doesn't have to be the right three. It could be a lot of other choices. It could be sending up and then over and then down and then repeating the process. Interesting. Grass is deep. Does that help me here? Yeah, actually, it does. <laughs> it does. I can nudge it in the upper right. Right? So I scare it over and then I nudge it up and then send it over. Hold on. This game has a lot going for it. Ooh. Good puzzle design. Very, very interesting. Well, right from the get-go, I don't see many great starts. I don't see a full path yet. I just know that, like, sending it both left and right, I'm, like, looking a few moves ahead, and they don't really do anything. Obviously, sending up is no good, so down is my only option. But I wonder if before sending it down, I should just quickly hit and run the grass. That way, at least, I can get it somewhere useful. Yeah, but it's not useful here, so I've really got to get rid of a lot of grass to begin with. Like, I think that actually means getting rid of this grass so I can scare it over. And frankly, getting rid of these grasses as well. Grassy ass. At least this way I can scare it down now, and I'm pretty sure I also have to get rid of the last piece of grass, too. I forgot to destroy the one piece of grass. Ah! There, four pieces of grass destroyed. Just terrorize the whole thing, why don't you? Oh, I actually shouldn't have destroyed all the grasses because I, I realize I can't then destroy the grass that's way above me now. 
because I need I need the grass gone so I can make this push. But I'm like, okay, how can I preserve that grass? Probably by preserving a different grass in the middle. Because this way I can scare it into the grass and just let it be as I get rid of the other grass. Then there's nothing wrong with sending it over, then up, and then in. Okay, thinking a lot ahead. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the puzzle design in this game. Let's get this one to clean up the world. I have one forced move. So I can probably nudge. I'm not sure how I want to nudge just yet. I'm going to play it by ear. Or I send it over. Well, now what though? Because all I can do is send them into the grass. And then down? I mean, that's not bad. Except it's here now. And now there's nothing I can do. So that doesn't seem right. Yeah, how do I even get them halfway then? Probably by destroying the grass in the middle. Which would look something like this. Because at least now I could scare them up. But, like, this is no good either. Yeah, what, what good does this do me? I'm just as stuck. No, I feel like I've got to use the nudge move somehow. Wait. Did I totally blank? I did totally blank. No, I didn't yet. I think what I actually missed was I have to come back through this grass, keeping them in the middle. I was close, but a little bit off. Okay, that's, that's definitely bad. Don't send them that way. Here. As much as I want to leave this grass up so I could just send them up then right. We know that's not going to work. But it seems like I have only one good option. And that would be sending them this way. Well, that's not good either. Because then I'm forced to send them down. So, hold on. Halfway done with the puzzle. I have to go through this grass. This probably is a recipe for disaster. Wait, no, I can nudge up. Yes, okay, there we go. Good God, okay. Well, damn, how big is this open world? Honestly, getting Monsters Expedition vibes from this, and I love that game, so I would like to keep playing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day, and peace.